The far north is battling with a spate of violent gang-related incidents, leaving locals crying out for more support. Kaikohi is bearing the brunt of it with violent clashes between the killer bees and tribesmen gangs. Here to discuss is Far North District Councillor Moko Tapania. Moko, thank you very much for joining us this morning. I just, want uh, to, I just want to point out from the outset that Kaikohi is a beautiful community and grappling with some issues that are um, not entirely unique to just Kaikohi, but it's really interesting how you have been dealing with it there in the community. So we're really interested to hear your story. But first, can you just tell us how visible is this clash between the killer bees and the tribesmen? What are we actually seeing on the streets there? I mean, it, it did come to a to a head um, in the past weeks, but it has died down now. Um, our town is incredibly resilient, and the people who make up this town are incredibly resilient too. So, on the ground right now, everyone's carrying on, um, doing what they're doing, and we had a number of um, of hui uh, following that, looking at reactive solutions. But what we don't want to see is us have, uh, being all hui and no doi. There has to be some action following on what we saw to ensure that our community is safe, that our town is safe, um, for us to bring up our tamariki here. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. Because there had been there had been markings across the town, there had been violent clashes in, in the street in the middle of the day. But there had been, as you said, hui with the gang members themselves. How did that go down, and, and what did you ask? Well, I mean, there, there has to be some personal accountability here. I mean, this is a community of 5,000 people, and it would be a huge disservice for me to just sit here and talk about the 50 members of this community um, who had violent gang struggles and, and gun shootouts and knife stabbings in our streets um, to the detriment of the other 4,950 people who live in this town who are amazing uh, members of this community. Um, so so the, the hui... The number of hui that we have had have, have gone really well. I know the gangs have spoken amongst themselves, but there is real personal accountability that's needed there. But there's also social accountability and um, central and local government uh, agency accountability that we need to ensure we follow up on so that um, our town is safe for all of us. So what are you saying? Are you saying you need more assistance from the government and from police, that you shouldn't be having to sort this out yourselves? Oh, absolutely. I mean... Um, when we when we look at our town, um, we've got central government agencies who we're not actually just seeing on the ground. Um, the New Zealand Police they need definitely need more resourcing throughout the whole country, but especially here in Northland and especially here in the mid north here in Kaikohe, um, when gang violence happens, we shouldn't have to wait a half an hour for the police officers to respond from um, Te Kiri Kiri, which is a half an hour away. So so there are things that we need to see reactively happen right now, but there are also proactive solutions for our community to ensure that our boys don't see the gang life as an avenue for them to follow through on. And what are you, because you're a teacher as well, what are you seeing amongst your, your young children that you work with because I know that youth crime is an issue across the country but also um, particularly in Kaikohe. Yeah I mean we, we saw the um, the arrests that were made following this um, following this conflict were from the ages of 15 to 40 years old it breaks my heart to know that there are 15 year olds in our town that the system has failed which has led for them to go through to this. So what are the different things that we can do? What can the Ministry of Education do? What can our kura um, here do? And um, what can, I mean, Kaipo here is the heart of Ngāpuhi. So um, we've got Te Runanga Aibi o Ngāpuhi here, Ngāpuhi Iwi Social Services. It's the seat of the Far North District. So the Far North District Council said here, what can all of these agencies do to collectively so, contribute towards Moko. ensuring that our uh, people are thriving? So if you could say one thing now, what do you want from government? What do you want from police? Um, if you can just quickly sum up what it is you want from them. Oh, what we want is more is more resourcing, more officers on the ground to ensure that they're here when the crime does happen. We want to ensure that we've got funding for better programs to ensure that our tamariki don't follow this avenue. Yeah, Far North District Councillor Moko Tapania, thank you very much for joining us this morning.